Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So, as many of you guys know that follow my channel, I'm a computer guy by trade and I've taken an interest in metalwork and, you know, I'm trying to learn a few things and it's, it's come slow and it's had a few lumps and bumps, but I'm having a great time, okay? And uh, so I thought, you know, I'd kind of like to do a project that's a little bit more involved to learn a few things. I mean, I got other projects that I'm going to do uh, while working on this, uh, but I thought, hey, um, let's try something different. So, uh, you know, I like to watch uh, Emma Ritson from Emma Spare Room uh, Machine Shop, and she done a series on the Kenneth Wells stationary engine. And, uh, you know, when she finished it up, I'm like, man, that, that's kind of cool. I, I'd like to try my hand at that. So uh, um, I contacted Emma and I said, hey, Emma, do you care if I uh, reference your videos here and, and do a recording of my own and, and try this out? You know, I've never built anything like that. And I thought, hey, you know, this might be kind of fun. So uh, Emma said, yeah, that was fine. That uh, uh, She didn't mind that at all. So uh, I got looking on the internet, uh, trying to figure out uh, where to get the drawings for it because, you know, it's, it's from a book and the book is copyright and it's very hard to find and uh, I think it's really hard to find in the United States. Uh, I think it originates out of the UK or somewhere like that uh, from the 70s. But I did get on uh, homemodelenginemachinist.com and create an account and then if, if you go there and do that, uh, you know, go to home modelenginemachinist.com, create an account, and then once you get logged in, if you do a search for Kenneth Wells Stationary Engine in the download um, forum, you'll find a link that you can download the plans. Now, according to the book, you know, it's, uh, uh, the book's author says, hey, you know, none of this can be uh, copied or anything like that other than the drawing. So that's what's supplied here, and hopefully I can show you here there's you know all the drawings uh, are there uh, that you need to build the engine so I'm thinking coupled with these drawings and Emma's uh, videos even a guy like me m might be able to pull it off um, but it's going to be fun to try even if I fail miserably so uh, I got looking around I do have uh, some 20 gauge sheet metal to start okay because uh, some of us made out of 20 gauge uh, I obviously got to have to source some other materials like the stainless and and uh, copper and brass and that sort of thing but I mean I'll, I'll do that as I go along uh, in the series. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that uh, the drawings are all in metric okay and uh, I, I have no metric tooling at all. I have a couple uh, chintzy <laughs> uh, metric rulers you know uh, uh, from the from my desk drawer that I thought well at least I can measure the overall lengths and that sort of thing. So my intentions are um, to uh, measure what I can in metric as far as dimensions and stuff like that but uh, the, the holes, um, the, the tap threads and that sort of stuff I will use the closest imperial size that I can find and uh, the author does in the drawings and parentheses for most of the holes uh, give you uh, the equivalent uh, uh, imperial size to use uh, whether if it's BSA or whatever but I don't have BSA taps and, and dies uh, I only have imperial so or US standard or whatever you call them, you know. So anyway, that's what this uh, series is going to be about. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, you guys will uh, enjoy it and follow along. Also, I would encourage you uh, to check out kennethwellsengines.web.com. They've got pictures of uh, the Kenneth Wells traction engine and stationary engine, some building tips. Uh, Emma's series is posted on there, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, and I would also uh, recommend that you go to Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop. Uh, I'll post a link uh, to her uh, uh, playlist uh, down below and as well as uh, links to kennethwellsengines.web.com and homemodelenginemachinist.com so that uh, if you guys are interested in, in doing one of these too, um, um, let me know and uh, we'll see what uh, if we can build together or bounce questions off each other and and I'm sure Emma will be a great help. She's a great si uh, great channel if you've not checked out her stuff. Really, I encourage you to go check it out. Uh, sh she does some pretty good stuff. All right, so uh, I'm going to call that here on this one. This is just an introductory video and uh, the next one I think will be starting on the base plate and uh, we'll go from there. So for uh, you guys that uh, watch my videos, thank you very, very much. If you find them helpful or useful or entertaining or whatever, subscribe, uh, please. 
uh, or throw me a like. Uh, if you don't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay. I got thick skin. Uh, so other than that, have a blessed day.